Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani Das, and I'll be giving you a little bit of background about the djembe drum. Let's start with the origins and the design of the drum. This drum is a West African hand drum, and it originated with the Mande people, or the Malinke, or the Mandingo people. They have different names. But if you look in the materials, we'll show you a map, and you can see where this drum originates in West Africa. Today, the origin, or the, the central origin place of this drum is between the countries of Guinea and Southern Mali. And it gets its shape from a large mortar, which is a tool used for pounding grain. And we'll also give you some resources about that. But the djembe shape, its goblet shape, comes from a giant mortar where people would pound grain inside of the bowl. And of course, this is a little bit different because now it's hollowed out. Uh, djembes are carved from a single log. And you can see the foot. And here we have the bowl. Here we have the head which is traditionally a goatskin head. And then we have some rings, two rings on the top and one ring on the bottom. And between the rings, we have some tuning rope. And we will also give you a separate lesson on how to tune the djembe. It is not very difficult, just a couple steps. If you can tie your shoe, you can tune a djembe. So we'll address that in a different video. In this video, we want to talk about the playing position. So the first thing you want to notice is I'm sitting on a drum throne and I have the height so that the drum, the top of the drum is a little bit lower than my elbow. So my arm will be pretty much straight from my elbow to my fingertips. And this is a comfortable playing position. So when we play the djembe, we sit forward towards the front of our chair, and we keep a small curve in our back, in our low back. Shoulders are relaxed, arms are relaxed, and I can have a, a, a straight line from my elbow to my fingertips, and I'll be very relaxed. Another thing is we usually recommend removing any jewelry, including rings, I'm just going to demonstrate in this video, so I'm not going to remove my ring, but ideally you would take all of your watches and jewelry off and have nothing on your hands to play the djembe. Very important, when we sit to play the djembe, we're approximating the position that would normally be achieved when standing. And the drum would normally be uh, held up by a rope or a uh, strap over the player's shoulders, and it would be at this angle. So when we sit, we want to keep that angle, keep this angle. Your students, or maybe you, would be tempted to tip the drum this way, like you're going to drive a car somewhere. But don't, don't, do not do that. Don't do that. Never tip the drum towards you. Always tip it away from you. And this is the proper playing position. So we're going to learn two main sounds that you can use right away and another sound that we're going to reserve for future lessons or a little bit more advanced playing. The first thing, when we play the djembe, we move mostly from our elbow. So we're moving this way and we use the same techniques in both right and left hands. So get used to moving this way as opposed to doing this which would be more like conga technique or more like drumming technique uh, for snare drum or drum set. So we're going to use mostly uh, movement from our elbow with a little bit of wrist movement. Alright, so let's learn the first tone we're going to call the bass tone. The bass is a low tone and it sounds like this.
Notice I strike the drum with my entire hand inside the edge of the drum. I'm not hitting it in the center. The center of the drum is what we call a node or a dead spot. So we never strike the drum right in the center. So we're striking the drum with our palm mostly, focusing the weight of our hand into our palm area. The fingers are also contacting the head, but our hand is relaxed and we want to strike it so we're inside the edge. So our palm is inside the edge. You can think about the area between the center and the edge as being the primary place you're striking the drum for the bass tone. When we strike the drum, move from the elbow and rebound off. Bounce. Practice playing bass tones individually at a slow tempo so you can hear what you're doing and you can make small changes in between the notes you're playing. So make sure when you practice you're paying attention to not only the movement but also the sound. And I would recommend you practice with a mirror or maybe a video camera or something so you can see exactly what you're doing. Because sometimes you think you might be bouncing when you're not. So practice bass tone with one hand, then the other hand, then alternating hands. The next tone we're going to learn is the medium pitch tone. That is called the open tone or open sound. Sometimes we also just call that tone as opposed to bass. I'll call it the open tone for now, and I may call it tone. For the open tone, we're going to start in the bass tone position. We're going to take our thumb and drag our hand back until our palm comes off the drum, but our fingers are still on the drum. So from here, from our knuckle line, lined up with the edge of the drum, we'll use our fingers like one unit and we're going to focus the weight into the lower part of our fingers, keeping our fingers flat. And we need to engage the muscles back here to make sure we keep our fingers flat. If we relax, our fingers will curve, but that's not what we want for the open tone. So with a flat hand, relaxed, we're going to start in the upper position, we'll strike the drum and we will bounce off. We're also going to keep our thumb away from the edge of the drum. Now let's alternate between open and bass. Let's do four of each. So start off practicing individual basses, then individual open tones, then start to come up with your own simple combinations for mixing bass and open together. If you experience the drum moving too far away or slipping away, you can put your legs around the base of the drum or you can even put a strap to the drum and put that strap around your waist or maybe sit on the strap and just help keep the drum up and keep it from falling forward. This would especially be useful for young players and new players, people who are unfamiliar with playing the djembe. 
Now I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced tone right now and this tone is called the slap and it's our highest pitch tone. We're going to reserve this tone for more advanced lessons. So in your first lesson, when you first teach your students, show them bass and open tone. You can play a lot of rhythms and music with bass and open tone only. But here's the slap and here's something you can start to work on and then eventually you can play the slap and you can teach the slap. The good news is once you learn bass, open, slap, you can play anything on the djembe you need to play, all the traditional music. So to play the slap, we're going to start with the open tone position and we're going to do what I said not to do to play the open tone. We're going to relax our hand so our fingers curve a little bit and then we're going to strike the drum with our curved fingers and you should be able to put you know something under there so there's a little space and we're going to focus on our fingertips for this sound. We're going to focus the contact with the drum on our fingertips. We're going to keep pretty much everything the same. We're going to bounce off, moving from our elbow, rebound off, and stay relaxed. So listen to the slap tone. Listen to the open tone. Slap tone. Try the slap in both hands. Once you're comfortable and you can play some slap tones, then start to blend bass, open, and slap. Here's an easy warm-up exercise that uses two bass, two open, two slap, and two open, and then repeats. So once you can play the three tones, bass, open, slap, you're ready to play any djembe rhythms. So that's your first djembe lesson. Let's review. When you sit, sit down and adjust your seat so your elbow is a little higher than the drum head. Make sure you tip the drum away. Move primarily from the elbow. Remove jewelry before you play and always bounce off the drum head when you're playing bass, open, and slap. Enjoy playing the djembe. I'm Kalani Das. This is World Drum Club. I'll see you in a future lesson.